Well, Teddy, we get set for the start of the 10th round. They touch gloves and in Defoe's corner. They said, if you get inside, you can't just languish in there. You've got to be busy. You're basically fighting in Nichols' hometown. You have to take this fight from her. Both corners felt that this round was definitely a very important round that the fight was up, and up for the grab. And they may very well be right. Hey, you and I both felt the last round was basically even. And we'll take a look at the punch numbers, and, well, that's why we had it even, without us even knowing that. But they only landed five apiece. Good jab there by Nichols. See, a lot of times you see somebody stomping down real well, Bob, in the close, and, of course, later on it changes. But in a two-minute round, you start the round well, that can carry the round for you. That's right. Big difference from the pros. A lot of times the guy starts the round early, you forget all about it because the other guy closes right, late. Right, 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 right. But here, with only two minutes left, Nichols could have a big advantage in this big round since she started early. Right, 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 right. The to load up there, and that could be dangerous. Winging from the outside. And Nichols scores and moves away, which is what she should do with her height. You can see what she's definitely trying to do. She's trying to catch the ball coming in. Now she's inside. The ball is not throwing punches inside. And that's what she needs to do. She's the short fighter. Obviously, as we've said all night long, she needs to really make hay when she's inside. Again, no knockdowns in the bout. Now the woman has been hurt. Right to the ear by Nichols. Watch your head, step back. Let so far, you'd have to feel Nichols is carrying his round as far as clean the punches. Hard break, step back. Ten seconds, girls. Ten seconds. Now there's the bell to end it. Very, very close, Teddy. Who do you think won Good that job. last round? I give it to Nickel. I agree. But all that matters is how the judges saw it. Deborah Nichols thinks she's won the featherweight title. So does Dee DeFoe. We'll find out how the judges scored it. Four featherweight gives up a lot of height to her opponents, and that was the difference tonight. Dufoe doing her best to get inside on Debbie K.O. Nichols. Then uh, she goes to work on the seventh round. Dufoe landing the left hook. They get tangled up, and both fighters going down. Dufoe very close in this fight. The punch stats showed that Dufoe landed a greater percentage of her punches, but Nichols threw more punches, and apparently that's what the judges went by. Nichols winning the vacant IBA featherweight title by unanimous decision, but Dufoe looked very, very good.